Welcome back to Your Average Investor, the channel that looks at my journey through investing, budgeting and finance. Now you may remember this video from a few months ago and how wrong I potentially was. We know that cryptocurrency had a massive bull market run throughout the first three to four months of the year before crashing up to 55% in some cases. Now of course we've seen a little bit of a turnaround, a bit of a recovery and we're starting to see cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum start to climb back out the other side of that dip. So today we're going to hop back into my eToro portfolio and check out just how my cryptocurrency portfolio is getting on, how it's weathered that storm and is now climbing out the other side. Let's check it out. Here we are then inside my eToro portfolio and the first thing we'll look at is the overall performance of the portfolio as a whole. You'll be able to see that eToro break it down nice and simply into a month on month rate of return, showing the difference between the value of the portfolio at the beginning of the month and the value of the portfolio at the end of the month. And what it does is it accounts for any deposits um, or any withdrawals in that time. So that obviously doesn't skew the amount of rate of return that you see on screen here. As we said then, the first four months were really, really strong for cryptocurrency. And you can see throughout January, February, March and April, I was up between 15 and 36% during each of those months. So this is the point where cryptocurrency was growing exponentially. It's all you saw on YouTube, it's all you heard everywhere. You read it online in mainstream news and it really did ignite like nothing we've ever seen before with Bitcoin and Ethereum reaching all-time highs along with a whole host of other cryptocurrencies and altcoins out there and then of course came all the bad news we know that all good things must come to an end and all bull markets will surely end at some point and we saw that in May and June as you can see here with my portfolio being down 22% in May and 17% in June. While this wasn't a massive shock, it was quite scary to see my portfolio lose around 50% in total value, with it at one point reaching almost 900 pounds and crashing right back down to around 400 in a few days really. As we move into July then, we see the potential positive signs of another bull market run for cryptocurrency. And you can see at the moment my portfolio is up a little under 10% throughout the month of July so far. This is really pleasing to see, especially as I added a bit of extra capital to my portfolio after the Bitcoin crash. Dependent on where you're looking at the moment, you could see videos and articles advocating Bitcoin's massive price run into the end of 2021 and into the future with some crazy price predictions out there as well. There's a video up here which I watched which is really, really interesting actually talking about Bitcoin um, and how it's becoming more scarce obviously with the Bitcoin halvings and what that could potentially do for the value of Bitcoin in the next five to 10 years and even in the short term as well. We can hop in and have a look at the projected outcome if I had invested 10,000 pounds the same way that I've made my smaller investments. You can see starting along 10,000 pounds down here through that massive bull market run throughout the early 2021s and you can see that my portfolio would have increased from 10,000 pounds up to around 32,500 pounds which is over a 200% increase in about a four month period which is unheard of really. You then see that crash from the 32,500 pounds right down to just under 15,000 pounds. So realistically, that's about a 50 to 55% loss within a very short period of time. Down here, we can see the really hopeful signs that we will be moving into another bull market run. And this is something that hopefully we'll be able to see out 2021 with a nice push on cryptocurrency. To set the scene then, before we hop in and look at exactly the breakdown of my investments on eToro, within the portfolio, I've invested 480 pounds and the portfolio started on the 1st of January 2021. So we're looking at about eight months now having been investing into cryptocurrency through the eToro platform. Um, and you'll see in a moment, I've seen quite a nice rate of return so far, um, even though that's had, we've had that massive uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum pullback throughout the last two months. And here we are then in the breakdown of my portfolio. You'll be able to see that I'm currently invested in four different coins, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple and Cardano. The well, four of the largest cryptocurrency coins out there um, by market capitalization um, and four of the ones which I really hope and really think will be strong in the future, five, 10, 50 years. At the moment, all of my investments sit as a positive rate of return. You can see Bitcoin, I'm currently up just under 12%. Ethereum, I'm up just under 58%. Ripple, I'm up just under 79%. And Cardano, I'm up just over 5%. So all of these are netting me a nice positive rate of return at the moment. 
Um, a few weeks ago it wasn't quite that case, but as you can see now, we've started to see the development of the crypto market again, um, and it's, you can see that in my portfolio. You can also see the total amount that I've invested into each cryptocurrency here, having invested $317 into Bitcoin, $225 into Ethereum, $75 into Ripple and just $50 into Cardano. Let's hop into each of the individual coins then and look at the trades that I've currently got open for each of those coins. We'll start off with Bitcoin of course by just clicking here on Bitcoin and here you can see the breakdown of all the different investments, all of those different open trades that I've got within the Bitcoin markets. So I've got a fair few open here and something you'll notice is that they are mostly or all apart from one um, an investment amount of $25. This is to fulfill my pound or dollar cost averaging strategy, which means that I continually invest small quantities into the same investment types over time, hopefully averaging down and getting the best price over that period of time. So if we click on the top one here, you can see that we started off on the 1st of January, 2021 there, and that's the one which is most up at the moment at the 31.49%. And if we scroll right down to the bottom, you can see that this trade that I've got open here, I opened at kind of Bitcoin's peak when the coins are worth $58,591. And you can see that was obviously on the 3rd of April, 2021. And that's currently down around 33% or losing me around eight and a half dollars. On the whole though, you can see that Bitcoin has done me fairly well. Um, on the whole, with all of my trades considered, I'm up around 12.6% as we said, which equates to around $38. I think the screen here really does show the power of pound cost averaging over time. Of course, if I'd invested all of the $317 on the 1st of January, 2021, I would see a really nice rate of return of 31.5%. But equally, if I'd made the mistake of investing all of that in at Bitcoin's peak, I would be making a loss of $33. Um, so you can see throughout time, there's lots of different percentage points here on the right hand side. And that really does show me that my strategy is working. And whilst it means I might not be seeing the maximum rate of return that I could do if I'd invested when it was at its lowest point, I'm equally not seeing the worst outcome as well, where if I'd invested at its highest point. And this strategy has worked really well for me. And it's something that I use across all of my investments. Next then we'll hop in and have a look at Ethereum and you can see I currently hold around 0.15 coins um, with much the same strategy as I use for Bitcoin, albeit not as many open trades at the moment. You'll notice again down the left hand side those dates show that I'm investing continually and over a prolonged period of time which has given me an average price at the moment of $1,473 per Ethereum coin. The current value of Ethereum sits at $2,322, which shows that the averaging approach has shown me that positive rate of return. Again, my initial investment of $25 on the 1st of January 21 is up over 215% at the moment. This means that I've trebled my money in just under eight months, which you can't really do in many types of investment type. So this is something I'm really pleased with, but obviously at the other end of the spectrum down here, we've got an investment that I made on the 7th of May, which is down 35%, which of course was when Bitcoin and Ethereum were at those all time highs. Um, but because of the averaging approach, because of that pound cost averaging strategy, I'm not too worried. I think in five or 10 years time, Ethereum and Bitcoin for that matter will eclipse the all time highs that we've seen this year. So I'm not worried and I'm in for the long term. We'll then move on to Ripple. Now there was a point with Ripple where I was up around 700%. Um, and in hindsight, I do wish I'd sold out and then bought back in when it was low. But they do always say time in the market is better than timing the market. And that's a philosophy that I live by. So rather than selling, I continue to invest, as you can see here, made an investment on the 10th of April, which is currently down around 45%. Um, but not to worry, again, hopefully over the long term, this will continue to increase and hopefully become a positive investment in the future. You can see that my first investment in Ripple on the 3rd of January um, opened when the coin was worth $0.22. Um, the coin currently sits at $0.7, um, so you can see that's over a 200% rate of return for me so far, um, with my $25 returning me $52. Ripple's a really interesting cryptocurrency. There has been lots of media attention surrounding it over the last few months, uh, and hopefully now that things have hopefully started to settle down, um, we'll be able to see that continue to grow again um, and hopefully turn that negative 45% into at least a break even by the end of the year. 
The average price that I've got for Ripple is just under $0.4 per coin, which obviously taking into account that one coin at the moment is $0.7, um, that means that I'm seeing a really healthy rate of return of around 80% at the moment for my overall investments into the Ripple coin. The last cryptocurrency I'm invested in then is Cardano or ADA here you can see. So we'll click in and see that I've only made two trades, or I've only got two open trades at the moment. You can see that the first investment I made here was around the 11th of April. And despite April and May being particularly poor months for cryptocurrency, you can see that this trade is currently actually up for me, up at around 1.71% rate of return, um, which is really, really pleasing. I wouldn't have expected that uh, really. Uh, and the second one you can see I've made just a few days ago now, uh, and that's already up 9%. So that's made me 9% in a little over 10 days. So really excellent rates of return here, um, as we've come to expect from cryptocurrency in the last year or so. And there we have it then, a quick roundup of my cryptocurrency portfolio. As I said at the beginning of the video, I've invested 480 pounds into this. Whilst I know all of the money that I've been talking about has been in dollars, you can see at the bottom of the screen, my total equity at the moment, including all of my open trades, is £645, meaning that I've made a profit at the moment of £165. Obviously, this is subject to massive market moves. It's cryptocurrency. Could wake up tomorrow and it's all at zero. Um, but really, really pleasing at the moment. Just while we're here on eToro, let's have a quick look at what's happening with Amazon at the moment. Now, Amazon's earning reports came out yesterday um, or yesterday evening and they weren't quite as good as people expected and it's given the market a lot of volatility surrounding Apple today. So we'll hop in, we'll have a quick look. You can see that Apple was trading at around $3,600 per share and overnight it is absolutely tanked. It's down around 7% today. So if you want to buy Amazon at the moment on the cheap, now is definitely the time. Even though this virus is now hopefully moving away, um, I think people will still continue to shop online. There might be a small dip in online shopping because people want to get out and about again, out to the main high streets. However, Amazon is here for the long term. And now could be an excellent opportunity to get Amazon on sale. So there we have it then, my cryptocurrency portfolio as of the end of July 2021. Cryptocurrency is a very small proportion of my overall portfolio, around five to seven and a half percent at the moment. And I don't want it to be any larger than that when compared to my other, more safe, more secure investments into ETFs and individual stocks and shares. Whilst I think it's important to have cryptocurrency as a part of your portfolio, I don't think it should make up the majority of it. The volatility, for me anyway, is just too great um, and I wouldn't be able to sleep at night if it was all in crypto. If you do want to start investing in cryptocurrency through Toro, I'll pop my referral link down below, along with the Trading212 referral link. Whilst you can't invest in cryptocurrency on Trading212, it's an excellent place for individual stocks and shares that I personally use and holds quite a lot of my money in there as well. I don't think they're accepting new people at the moment, so there's also a link down there for free trade, which is an excellent alternative to Trading212. It gives you everything that Trading212 does, and it also lets you sign up at the moment. If you do enjoy videos like this, please don't forget to drop it a like and drop a comment on it if you've got anything to say about my investments or any recommendations that you've got for future cryptocurrencies and future altcoins out there that I might want to be investing in and looking into as well. If you haven't yet subscribed, please don't forget to, to catch all of my future content on investments, making money, match betting and cryptocurrency. And with that said guys, hopefully I'll catch you all in the next one. Thank you.